President Uhuru Kenyatta has commissioned a 4 billion shilling small arms factory in Ruru, Kiambu County, that is intended to progressively make Kenya self-reliant on personal weapons for its security forces. With the capacity to produce up to 12,000 rifles for now, Kenyatta says Kenya's development trajectory must be geared towards self-sufficiency in the wake of global challenges and politics that hamper access to critical goods. Sam Gituku attended the commissioning event and filed this report. The Riro Small Arms Factory is the culmination of a presidential directive issued just over three years ago, geared towards establishing national capabilities of defense manufacturing and address the challenge of high cost of weapons that is usually hampered by complex arms export processes. The president taking a tour through the arms manufacturing machinery, whose details are preferred confidential for their security nature. A process that begins by measurement of different sizes of metal that are then designed, shipped and taken through different chemical processes to the desired outcomes. For a start, the factory will be making the CMZ-4 assault rifle, a Kenyan rifle 45 by 5.56 mm caliber. 60% of the parts of the rifle are made at this factory. The rifle has an effective range of 400 meters. It is lethal on the subject within that range, but loses its effectiveness past 600 meters, power greatly reduced. The rifle can carry a magazine capacity of 30 rounds of ammunition. So this groundbreaking initiative will allow us to lay the foundation, provide Kenya with greater security sector independence and flexibility, and allow Kenya to design and produce high-quality weapons customized to our unique needs and operating environments. The factory was put up at a cost of 4 billion shillings against what the president says had been quoted at 15 billion shillings by private contractors. It has a capacity of 12,000 rifles per year and according to the government has created 100 direct jobs, majority of them held by young people in a further 1,000 indirect jobs. With each wrong decision we make as public leaders, and with every moment we succumb to middlemanism and the cartels, we deny these young people an opportunity to do what we have seen them do. The decision to build gun capacity informed by high cost of importation, a field day for entrepreneurs. For the life of all of us, we will say goodbye to those people who stress us loitering around trying to sell us guns. And the time we save by acquiring them here and organizing ourselves and protecting our country. In the next one year, the factory managers hope to diversify production lines to include 9mm pistols and 7.62mm assault rifles. The desire being to supply all of Kenya's security agencies with personal weapons and probably seek access to the international market. We plan to create a weapons manufacturing surplus that will transform Kenya into an exporter of security equipment to nations in the region and the rest of the world. This will not only boost our balance of trade position, but it will also create employment for thousands of Kenyans. Last year, President Kenyatta reviewed a CMZ-4 rifle at the KWS Law Enforcement Academy in Manyani. Already over 3,000 such rifles are said to have been sold to Kenya's security agencies. Sam Gitukusrizen TV.